Yo, what's up, y'all? What's up, world? Goddess and goddesses. It's your boy Brandon's Tattoos, aka Strip by Brandon. And today we is in the building, and um, I'm doing a part two on the Illinois, you know, cash bail. All right, they passed that. They passing the law, and I did do a little video on it, and I got a little more research on what it means. You know, um, I want to play this skit. Let me see. Let me play this for y'all. So y'all, maybe I can add some time on my video with this skit right here. See what you, what everybody think. Uh, all right. Um, I've never played this video on my last skit, but I was meaning to. As of January 1st, 2023, the following things will go into effect and people need to be aware of this. It abolishes cash bail for almost every offense. This includes, but isn't limited to, kidnapping, armed robbery, second degree murder, drug induced homicide, aggravated DUI, threatening a public official, and aggravated fleeing and eluding. Offenders released on electronic monitoring have to be in violation for 48 hours before law enforcement can act. They could almost drive to Alaska before we can even look for them. It denies victims their constitutional rights. And keep this in mind, businesses and homeowners, officers will no longer be able to remove trespassers from your resident, residence or your businesses. Someone could decide to live in your shed and all we can do is give them a ticket. You have to decide what level of force is required to remove them and whether or not it's legal. As of January 1st, 2020, All right, y'all. I'm getting a lot of notifications. All right, um, so yeah, I wanted to put that on the first video, but um, it's just an updated one. Uh, like I said, I'm, I done did some research, and basically, what's going on in Illinois, uh, Pope County, to be exact, last year, 2021, there was a lot of deaths going on inside the pretrial. And, um, mostly people that was in the pretrial for over six months to years. I'm talking about like 11 years. I heard some stories of people being in the county jail all because they cannot afford bond. And some people that sit in jail can't bond out and some people sit in jail and, and get and don't make it out you know so yeah i totally uh, i totally feel the law you know um so what the law new law does is when a person commit offense they go in front of a judge and the judge decide to counsel uh if that person shall get a bond, I mean, to get out or not, you know, that's, that's, um, so it's not really determined on a person's funds or not. A judge would determine should a person get in, stay in jail or get out of jail. Other than that, you getting a signed signature, a ticket or something like that, you know, uh, and just, uh, you'll fight your case on the street, you know, for for certain offenses. I hope that, uh, hope I was kind of clear with that. Uh, um, you know, so, yeah, so 2001, a lot of deaths was happening in Illinois and in that county, in the county pretrial. In 2022, well, about the same amount, and this year ain't even over with. So, yeah, they're doing something about it, which I think is a good thing. You know, because nobody want to sit in jail because they don't have the funds to get out of jail. I think, uh, you know, everybody's not guilty until proven innocent. And that's what happens in the subpoena system. You know, everybody's not, you know, guilty until proven innocent. So, you know, I, I feel that law, it's okay, you know. I still, 
I know it's more research to do on the law, so that's all I got for you today on the behalf, you know, of no cash bond law that's in Illinois. Uh, today is Wednesday, the 14th, September. And it's your boy, Brandon Chateau, signing out. Y'all know what to do. If you like videos like this, like, comment, subscribe. And uh, I think I'm going to watch one of the other videos at this. So you click on this video right here and um, take it to the videos about this same topic. All right. Peace out.